So here we're going to look at finding an increase or a decrease in a percentage. Um, so basically what we're looking for is increasing or decreasing a value by a percentage. So find the new value. Here you're going to be given a value and a percentage and you need to think about reading carefully to decide, obviously in this case, am I increasing it or am I decreasing it in the other case? Because that's going to play out in how we actually solve the problem. So if we look first at increasing, first thing I'm going to ask you to do is convert the percentage to a decimal. We can do that in our heads. So 15%, move the decimal two spots over, that's going to become 0 0.15. Next thing I'm going to do is add the decimal to 1. So I'm going to write 1 plus 0 0.15. Write it out in two steps here if we want. The order here might matter, especially when you're dealing with the minus. So 1 plus 0 0.15, that's equal to 1.15. And most of you will get good at doing that in your head and in one step. But once you've got that number, and it will always be a one point something or other, you're going to times it by the original amount. So my percentage is 15, and my original was 18. So I'm at 18, and I want to increase it by 15%. So I'm at 18, and I'm going to times it by 1.15. And this ends up giving me 20.5. And effectively what we've done is we've taken 18 and found 115% of it. That's what the plus 1 does. That means I want all of the 18 back and 15% more. So that's what the 1.15 comes from. Looking at the other example, here I'm talking about decreasing. Oops. So, again, our first step is going to be convert the percentage to a decimal. 25% in our head, moving the decimal two spots over, becomes 0 0.25. Now this is when the order really matters. It's always important that we go 1 minus 0 0.25, and that we do it in that order. Otherwise you'll get a negative number that's not very helpful. So 1 minus 0 0.25, that's 0 0.75. And once we've got that number, in this case, will always be something like 0 point something or other for a decrease. We're going to take the original. 32, 32, and we're going to times it by that 0 0.75. So 32 times 0.75 gets us 24. And effectively what we're saying is that, well, 32 is 100% of it. It's so the whole of itself is 32. That's 100%. And I want to take 25% off of that. So effectively what I'm looking for is what's the 75% that's left? after I've taken the 25% off. So 32 times the 75% gets us 24. Conceptually, that's what's going on, but if it's hard to visualize all that, just stick with the steps. Convert percentage to a decimal. Subtract it from 1, so you make sure you always go 1 minus whatever that decimal is. Take that number and times it by the original amount, and you'll get your answer. An example of a word problem here. A tuck shop has a lot of ice cream cones, they want to sell, so they've discounted the price by 20%. So looking for keywords here, they've discounted the price by 20%. Well, discount, is that an increase or a decrease? So I know this is going to be a decrease in percentage. So if it normally costs, that's my original. How much will the discounted price be? So I need to decrease 350 by 20%. So following the process, 20% turns into 0 0.2. I'm decreasing, so I need to go 1 minus 0 0.2. That gets me 0 0.8. And now I take the 0 0.8, and I times it by the original, which is 350. So 350 times 0 0.8 gets me $2.00. 0.8, and since it's money, make sure you put the zero on the end again so it makes sense, $2.80. And again, just to talk through that, if 350 is 100%, that's the original price, I'm taking 20% off, so I want to know what's the 80% that's left over. That's where the 0 0.8 comes from. But again, you can follow the process on that one. 20% converts to 0 0.20. It's a decrease problem, so I'm going to subtract it from 1 times that number by the original amount, and you get your answer.